Hello, YouTube world. This is Johnny Moe coming to you today with a product review of the Toro Easy Vac, something we just picked up about two weeks ago. Let's get into it. Hello, YouTube world. This is Johnny Moe coming to you today. So, what we what we had uh, been doing is been using the um, the accelerator bagger. We would grind up all the leaves and we would use the accelerator bagger. What I found is it, just was just too frustrating. Was there was lawns where kind of like this. See, it's kind of like this. There's a few leaves in there, but you know it. Um, it doesn't look that bad. But when you start cutting, all those leaves that are stuck in the grass, they start f going everywhere. So what you would do is you'd grind them all up and then you would suck up suck up whatever's left with the bagger well if you had a bagger i could have just went over at one time filled it at one time and been done with it and i just found that i was taking too long to do some of the some of the bigger properties that i had uh, especially when you're dealing with acreage and leaves you know you got leaves there um you, you want to clean them up but you don't want to sit there and double and triple cut acres of lawns so I finally broke down and just said, screw it. I'm going to, I'm going to invest in it. It cost me $4,000, um, four grand. They installed it for 175. So it was, it was four grand even, uh, they did a, a pretty good job. Some of the things that, uh, uh, again, guys, you have to check your dealer, uh, for $175, they could have did the extra things like make sure that the tires had the proper amount of air in them. Your, your fronts need to be at 25, your backs need to be 20. When you don't have a bagger, the book says that they should all be at 13. So I had them all at 13 and they could have put the deck to the bagging setting. For $175, that's something they could have done. Uh, other than that, they did a good job. I took the three front weights off. Uh, it, I found it to be too much. Uh, I started sliding down hills when it was pointing forward. Um, when it's fully loaded, grass is packed. Uh, if you go up a hill, it will pick up on you without those three weights. Uh, but that has to be wet grass and has to be fully loaded. I've had not an issue as of yet. Um, the weight of the bagger on the side does cause this deck to be a little bit unlevel. Um, I've had to play around with that a little bit. Uh, something that I felt that they should have done also. As a matter of fact, when I picked it up, I even asked them. I said, did you have to level the deck? Oh, no, not at all. I get to my first lawn, I start bagging, this side's digging in. This, I mean, this is why you got to check dealers. I don't care how good your dealer is, you have to check them. Come home, go over everything, make sure that the bolts are tight. It, it's just very disappointed that I paid that much money uh, and, and still had to come home and waste a half hour time, put air in my tires, make sure the bolts are tight. I had to, read, I had to put the deck to the B setting because uh, it wasn't set on the B setting. And the belt, um, I, had to, I had to learn how to do that belt uh, to make sure I had the belt right. Uh, first day, the spring busted. <laughs> first day, the spring busted. No one has a spring in stock. So I ended up going to Tractor Supply. And as you can see, I rigged up my own little spring. Uh, if you can see it, that's the silver, silver spring. Um, my other dealer actually had not that spring but something very similar to it so i was able to grab a spring off them i think it's in here well i thought it was in here it's not in here but here's my extra one from tractor supply i bought that spring and it's been working uh i do have another spring somewhere oh here it is here's the original spring Here's the original spring. Uh, it snapped right here on the first day I was using it. So um, that was annoying. And um, so th that's just a lesson. That's my fault. I know better. I, I don't care what dealer you're dealing with. You have to come home and check everything. And um, that's the first lesson you need to learn. So I've been using it for two weeks. It's It's been a game changer for me. I I've always been... I've always had bagging bagging units, um, so it's it's not really uh, that big of a deal for me. And um, these weights will come off once I'm done 
Uh, once I'm done spring cleanups, this whole system comes off. So you just pull those pins right there. You pop these weights off. Obviously the bagging system, you pull this pin here, you pull that pin there and the bagging system drops off. Um, just a really good system, happy with it. Now that's, the, that's as far as it opens. So some things that you need to know if you're gonna get a Toro bagging system. It's bagged everything I've needed to bag. I have not had an issue yet. Uh, looks like there's some scratches in the hood. Looks like that this bolt right here, um, when I put it down is scratching. So probably a design flaw. The bolt that is right here, as you can see, it's scratching. It's scratching pretty good now that I see it. Um, so what's happening is when I pull this back, Yep, it is scratching it. I hear it. There it is right there. Again, you know, design flaw. You find design flaws in, in certain things. Um, and, and that bolt is what holds the screen in. So um, something for you to look forward to. As far as bagging, I have had no issues. It bags leaves, bags wet grass. The tube is, is really huge, really huge. Um, pretty easy to get on and off. Again, all you do is take that off, that belt off that. You move these two, you move these two things off the lip and you're good to go. Oh, looks like this needs tightened up a little bit. It's a little loose. Yeah, even that's loose. Just needs tightened up. Um, holds on there really well. Uh, I, don't, I don't hook the bottom one, I just hook the top one. Uh, the tube is really big, so I've, I haven't clogged. The only time I clog it, and, and you have to get used to this. You have to catch this right away because what will happen is all those things will fill up. And then with no way to see, you just come down. The, the grass is working its way down to there and it'll clog that. And once that happens, you got to take all this off, beat this tube up and, and try to get this to, to um, unclog, which is kind of a pain. Uh, my Ferris bagger, the upright bagger was definitely better unclogging than this is. Um, so you got to be careful. You got to kind of pay attention to, um, the bags. What I do is from the seat, from the seat here, I'll turn around and I'll look and I'll, I'll move the mower. If this bag is still moving, I know I'm still good, but once it fills up, it won't move anymore. It'll, it'll press up against this back and it'll be kind of full. So that's how I do it. The secondary one is is how much blowout as soon as i see blowout coming out the front side of this deck as soon as i see it, i shut everything down because that is definitely a sign that you are are full and there's back pressure here um so something you need to look forward to so as of i've used a lot of baggers this is my second toro bagger over the years um what i will say is this particular method is very messy to dump so what I mean by that, these bags fill up and this hood fills up. All this extra space fills up with grass. So when you pull these up and pull them out, everything that's in the hood is going to fall to the ground. So just want you to be aware of that. I haven't figured out a way to actually um, fix that, but be aware when you're you're dumping the grass that wherever you're dumping at, you're gonna have to find a way to clean it up. Whether you you fire the mower back up and you go over that area, you kick it over, you kick it into the grass is what I usually do, is I kick this little area flat into the grass and I'll run it over with the bagging system on again. Another thing you can do because it is leaf season is you can put a, the leaf blower where you're at and you can blow it over that way. My method is to kick it over uh, into the grass and then just turn on the, the fan and run it over and you suck it up and that, that's all you have to do. But I don't like to leave pals. So what I usually do is I'll, I'll go to the area where I've dumped and I'll take the backpack blower and we'll blow it all down. So do I think this thing is worth $4,000? I absolutely not. But for being solo, I, I needed it to do leaf cleanups. I just struggled so badly. Uh, I've used it for two weeks. The times got a lot better. 
I'm getting more done. I have 35 left and I'm going to be done. So I just wanted to go over this with you real quick, show you my new purchase. Uh, I found the design flaw for you right here. Um, this bolt right here is rubbing on it. And I'm going to try to fix that. I'm probably going to try this bolt right here that connects this screen is rubbing on it. And you can see as it comes down through, it is actually, uh, actually causing quite a bit of damage there. So, um, some of the, some of the better values that I find with this is it's a plastic tube. Um, as you can see, it's up there. That was my old Ferris, uh, hose. You have to replace those about once a year. Um, my old one, this is probably a lifetime. You're probably never going to have to replace this. Sticks aren't going to bust through it. It's not going to wear. Uh, so th that's a definite benefit of this machine. Uh, it bags up really well. I have no issues with it. Uh, this is what I'm using to bag up. Um, no issues at all. I, there's nothing I haven't bagged. These are the Gator Atomics. These are Atomic Blades. I had to take off the G5 using this because it was just too much airflow going into the bagger and I was chasing leaves around. So I actually went this way and wow, what a difference. And the manual actually says that. It actually says that, that, that when you're bagging up leaves, you want to use this. And I, have, I haven't had to chase a leaf. Uh, it works really well. Very happy with it. I don't know if it's worth 4000 but that's my review of it. Uh, make sure that you're going over whatever the dealer did. Um, you know, Look for these little things. Make sure that when you're dumping, you're going to have to find a place where – because it's all going to fall out of there. And as far as you know, the little tip that I use is uh, this bagger. So when the bagger's doing that, you kind of know that it's not filled. But once it gets – it's filled, it, it, it puffs out like that. And you kind of know, hey, listen, I better go dump this because it's getting close. It holds a lot. It holds a lot. There's a lot. It holds a lot. Um, the power of the machine has not been an issue yet. I've bagged up some really nasty thick lawns. I have not had a power issue with the machine. I thought I was going to. That's why I never bought one with a 25 EFI. The dealer assured me that it would work. He was correct. Uh, as of right now, there has been no issue for power. And I, I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, this is basically a spring and fall cleanup. As you know, I do not bag during the year. I will continue that. This will be taken off. This is just another weapon in my arsenal um, for leaf cleanups. All right, that's my time. Have any questions about the Toro Easy Vac? Put them in the put them in the uh, comment section. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch these videos. All right, guys, talk to you soon.